Hi there, this is Matt Rose. Welcome to Wig With. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos if you'd like to see more uh, information like this. Today is Friday, July 24th, 2020, and today I'd like to go over with you the Uyghur situation in China. So this has been going on for some time now, and we need to definitely make a lot more of a deal about this. Uh, there's a lot of human rights groups and activist groups that are calling attention to 84 different companies that have been involved in this forced labor, they say. Uh, amongst the biggest, I would say, would be the Apple and Nike. Nike says it's conducting ongoing due diligence and says it does not source materials directly from Xinjiang, where the home of the Uyghurs exists. Uh, Apple said it's investigating the claims as well, but found no evidence of forced labor in any of the products. This, of course, is in China, where uh, many of the products that they manufacture are very small and have tiny parts, and sometimes they do not know where all of the parts manufactured exist or come from. So we definitely do not know for sure, despite what they say. Uh, reports by Australian Strategic Policy Institute, ASPI, found that thousands of Uyghurs have been forced into forced labor factories in, across China. The ASPI report says strongly suggests forced labor linked to those factories, more than 80 highly profitable brands across the world, some of the biggest brands. Uh, CCP has uh, apparently imprisoned up to 2 million Uyghurs, according to the U.S. State Department. So this is a very widespread problem across all of China. Uh, mosques and cemeteries of uh, Uyghurs have been destroyed. Those outside of the forced concentration camps still live under extreme scrutiny and levels of control. Uh, use of AI and facial recognition software and cameras constantly track these people. They are forced to download tracking software on their phones, which is very similar to the COVID-19 tracking app in uh, North America. They have region-wide biometric database constructed from mandatory DNA swabs. Think your COVID-19 swabs, you know, you wonder what they're doing with those. Uh, they include also iris scans and blood tests. Uh, Uyghurs are forcibly sterilized, and that is kind of a repeat of Nazi Germany 101. Uh, number one reason for detention is violation of family planning. So say you refuse to take a, um, one of your forced sterilizations. And the number two is practicing Muslim religion, which, you know, of course, practicing open religion in China is a big no-no, even if you're in one of the faraway states like Tibet or Xinjiang. Uh, U.S. sanctions of 48 different companies is something that should be follow suit in most Western cultures. Um, Western businesses as well need to tighten up their practices, making sure that they're not trading openly with any Chinese companies that's profiting off of forced labor. Far too many in the Western culture are turning a blind eye to this, and we need to make them aware that this needs to stop. Uh, Alberta, we are the, the, China is our number two export partner, so, you know, they get a lot of our coal, and we just announced a bunch of open pit coal mining operations in Canada. So how do we know that we are not sending coal over to China to be used for forced labor. We need to make UCP and Jason Kenney very aware that we do not approve of any forced labor being traded for or with China and that they need to make a big deal about this to their number two trading partner, export trading partner. So if you could like, share, and subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. I'd really like for this video to get around, please, especially in Alberta. Hit the bell there for latest updates on any new videos. I'll try and keep you guys all informed and updated on anything that I've currently gone over on the channel. And if you leave a comment on anything else you'd like me to talk about, please feel free. Uh, the bell is right there. My name's Matt Rose. This has been Wig With. Thank you. Have a good day.